Hi, I'm Keely, also known as Kelly. And I'm Feely, also known as Alex. Welcome to our corner of the Shire, where we will show you how to bring Middle Earth into your daily life to keep you a, a happy, happy hobbit. hobbit. So here in the Blue Mountains, it is autumn, which means the Northern California Renaissance Fair is coming up. But unfortunately, we. Do you like it? Yeah, that's that's actually pretty cool, Keely. I'm gonna go to the Renaissance Fair with like a Raven-themed costume this year, so that's why I've been Keely. putting feathers on. I can be a Raven if I want. It doesn't matter what you wanna do. We can't go because. Somebody lost the ponies years ago. It's not exactly a new thing, Keely. We I can't go see the Wicked Tinkers. Our friend, the Tiki King, is in that band. I don't care. I'm gonna go see them. You can want something, but we can't have it because somebody lost the ponies. Then I'm gonna go find them. Keely, wait. We... I'm gonna go find them! Ah! Keely! I'm holding this over me forever! Keely, wait! Keely! Can I come? So, Keely's gone. The pony's gone, and I just have to try to find her. I don't know what I'm doing out here. I mean, I'm gonna need a pony to get back home. If I am gonna get a pony and steal one to, you know, get all the way back home with you, I don't, I mean, I know how to tack up a horse, but how do I ride exactly? Well, luckily, on this episode of Happy Hobbit, we're gonna provide some basics of Western trail riding. This is Marco, also known as Bill the Pony. He is a Pasofino and he belongs to a friend of ours and we're helping her out by exercising him while she's away. So, here's a few tips. So, the first thing is this is a western saddle. You can tell because it's got this high pommel and though this is hidden by a saddle pad, it's got a wide seat. And the way you sit in a western saddle is you kind of sit back on the pockets of your pants and you put the ball of your foot on the stirrups and you point your heel down. Okay, Marco. The way you hold your reins traditionally is, is like this. You just take them both in one hand because in Western riding, the way you rein a horse is if you want the horse to go left, you're gonna pull the reins right and they feel the pressure on their neck and they turn left or, and vice versa. But I have a little twist on it that I've always liked to do since I was little, which is take your pinky and switch it around down there. I remember so that, you teaching me that. Yeah, so that then if the rain, if the horse jerks its head or if the reins start to slip, since your pinky's, since your pinky's down here, you can squeeze and catch the reins before they <coughs> fall. All right, Sam, you want to give some tips about what to do when you encounter hills? Okay, well, if you're going downhill, you want to shift your weight back on your pockets of your pants and lean back quite a bit and grip with your legs and going uphill you want to shift your weight forward back up on the front and grip with your thighs as well. Is that help. better for the horse yeah, or better, better for, for you? The horse to help their balance, keep their center of gravity and it's better for you. You keep a better seat as you go up and down treacherous terrain. And as you can tell this oh. Rohan steed is rather eager to move on. Another tip is uh, when your horse is going to the bathroom, you just stand up in the saddle and lean forward to take any pressure off of their rear end and their organs, just to help them out a little bit. You know, they've got a big old dwarf on them, so. So as you ride, you want to keep in mind that even though you're not bareback, your spine is connected to the horse's spine. And one really neat side effect of that is that the horse is sensitive enough to notice when you're turning your head. So when you're doing something like barrel racing, you spot 
and you focus on what you're aiming for and the horse picks up on that and the horse will go that direction. Yeah, you boys like each other. They've just met, but they're friends. Insta besties. And somebody wants to make up this hill a little bit faster than a walk, doesn't he? Go, go, go. Do your horses tend to do that often, going up a hill? Oh, definitely on a hill. He's ready to go everywhere. Aren't ya? So if the horses are herd animals, you'll also have to feel out your horse's personality. Some are born to be more leaders, some are born to be more followers. And Marco, I'd say, is pretty middle of the road. He could be, he could be either. What would you say Houdini is, Sam? Leader, he can, do, he can do either way, but he likes to get ahead. He takes after his mother. Yeah, you like your mom, huh? Huh? But he is used to falling. And to pay attention to your horse's like ears and what they're looking yeah. at. One thing you have to look out for is any gopher holes or mole holes or things like that that your horse could potentially trip on. They do have really, really good senses, but you, especially if you're galloping, that could end up as a nightmare. And if you watch Marco's ears, he'll often flick them back to listen to my voice because he's listening for any commands or just wanting to know what's going on because he's measuring the tone of my voice. And he'll also tell me what's going on by... See, he's listening both to me and to Houdini behind me. He'll tell me what's going on by perking his ears and focusing on stuff forward like he just did right then when he saw a bird. And you learn to rely on your horse to let you know if there's other wildlife or other humans or other horseback riders around more than you rely on your own senses. You'll find that horses like to smell old poop that tell, gives them an idea of, of the horse who left the poop, but it also triggers them to have to poop sometimes. So so if your horse starts smelling a poop, kind of like dogs. Get ready. Yeah, kind of like dogs. Be prepared for them to stop and want to see who's been on the trail. Let's give him a little more space. Like driving a car, you want to give about a horse width between you and the rider in front of you. That's because horses are a a little bit unpredictable when they're together, especially when they haven't met. Like, these two haven't met, so they haven't quite felt each other out completely yet. And if you keep a horse with distance between you, then that reduces the risk of if Houdini were to kick, or if Marco were to kick, no one's going to be in the line of fire. Sometimes horses can just kick. They're not trying to be mean. It's just their language of being like, back off, I need some space. Right. They've got personal space issues. Because to a horse, to another horse, a kick isn't quite as intense as it is to horse to a dwarf. Human, hobbit. Or, okay, well an elf could probably recover. But if you also are out on a ride or if you're in a show and you see um, a horse in front of you that has a red ribbon tied on their tail, that means that they're known to kick. And so that's, that's that person's way of letting you know to give that horse extra space. You boys are doing really good. Yeah. Marco liked. Yeah. Good boys. That was good boy. That was very good. Occasionally, when horses do that, they'll let out quite a violent squeak or squeal and it's kind of their way of saying okay i'm done saying hello because right, well, some horses like marco are a bit politician like and they just kind of want to greet everybody he's a very friendly sort you too huh Deanie? so when you're riding a horse the way that you want to grip the saddle is actually with the muscle here in between your pelvis and your knee so that you're actually gripping with your thigh. You're not wrapping your legs around the horse because if you're doing that, then you can't uh, use your stirrups or use your heels to guide the horse. So a lot of people think that it's your knee or they think that um, 
you know, you just sit there squeezing the whole time. But or you just sit there doing nothing. Or you do nothing not and true. then they flop all around. A lot of times if you watch movies, you'll see actors when the horse is trotting and they're just flying all around. That's not 100% their fault because it does take a little bit of time to develop those muscles. But once yeah. you have them, they're good. Wouldn't you say? Definitely. And if you've ever had an accident at like a trail riding place and you've fallen off, Mark, no. excuse me, it's that. probably just because you're not quite used to learning how to grip and use your legs, which is a lot of horseback riding is sometimes, in your body. No, hey. sometimes you just fall off though. That's true. Sometimes, sometimes it happens. Sometimes you jump off because that's the safest option. I've had that happen. But okay. fear not. In all my years of riding, I've only fallen off probably three times, and that's probably about 20 years. Walk when you're not telling him to walk, you discipline him by turning him into a circle. And that teaches them that they can't get away with doing whatever the heck they want. Ah, oh, Marco, you have to turn in a lot of circles. And Marco's a bit of an older horse, Marco, and sometimes they try to get away with things. Marco is what we would call barn sour. Barn sour horses are horses that, even though they like to hit the fresh air and the exercise, they like the coziness of their barn. And they want to get back as soon as they can, especially if they're used to getting a treat after a while. It's which he is. a bit like Bilbo, you know, on the they felt be, chip. Yeah, they could be like hobbits. Wants to go back to his hole, to his cozy hearth and chair. Thanks for teaching me all that, Keely. So, where's my pony? How, how am I supposed to get home? Um, when you walk here, you can walk home. But, Sam! Keely! I only, only room for one. Yeah, we only lost two ponies and I found two ponies. So. But, but! Keely! Sam! Wait up! Thanks for teaching me all that. Oh, oh it's a bee! <laughs> I'm like a what? It's been incredible! I feel like a blind up toy, but they like go like this and then they get to the edge of the table. <laughs> what do you think, Conrad? <laughs> well, thanks for teaching me all that. Okay, boss, you're not the star. Thanks for teaching me all. Oh my god! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Another great thing about, you know, going along on a stolen pony hunt is the view of horse butts from the back. It's, it's actually a rather nice sight. I mean, you know, everyone's unique. Especially if, you know, maybe they poop. You guys, wait! I don't know the way home! I lost my way here twice!